Hello, everyone. Welcome to my video. Today is Wednesday, the fifth of February, two thousand twenty. My name is Dan Kita from Thailand. In this video, I like to talk about the true Dhamma or Nirvana for the people who have the most wisdom. If you are a real person who want to attend your land is fly. You have to listen to me early because I have attained Nirvana for practicing years. Uh, I'm ready to help everyone on this earth attain Nirvana in this way as well. I'm ready. But are you ready? Aha! It's up to you. This occasion is the great opportunity you will obtain to listen to the true drama, forget out of all mystery that stop the cycle of death and reincarnation forever. You know, when we die and we're born again, we must fight the suffer from any losing. The Buddha told people attain your night and just fly. Achieving Nirvana is the end of all suffering because there's no cause to be born anymore. Chris Bang Mai. The topic to speak in this video is don't be afraid of the fearless ideas or thought process because it does not really exist. You know, the story I will say the following or everything I have already said. I want you to understand about the fairest idea or thought process. because the idea is the heart of quenching suffering. If anyone can know their own thoughts, that means you find a way to end of all suffering. Nothing more to study than this. Please bear in mind.
you know, the story in this talk is, I say, don't be afraid of the fairest idea of God possess. Because it does not really exist. Why did I say that? Let me explain. You know, the fairest idea of God possess is natural. Can you tell me? It doesn't belong to anyone on this earth. It's not your, it's not mine. The fairest idea of God possess. It cannot be seen. It's still visible. It doesn't belong to anyone on this earth. The fairest idea of God possess. Where can I find the meaning of the fairest idea of God possess? It's just a thought. It's in your thought. Hmm? It's in my thought. The fairest idea of God's heart possess is natural or wrong. Everyone on this earth use the fairest idea of God's heart possess from birth to death. But they cannot realize that we are thinking now. Can you understand me? The fairest idea of God's heart possess is the heart of quenching, of suffering. If anyone can know their own thoughts, that means you have mindfulness and intuition to end a false suffering, not to more to suffer than this. You know, we use the fairest idea of our process from birth to death, but we cannot realize that we are thinking now. The meaning of the favor I see of what her person is that not the exit. You know, as I told you, the fairest I see of what her person is the heart of quenching suffering. If anyone can know their own thoughts, that means you find a way to the false suffering, nothing more to such thing than this, you know. We use the fairest idea of what thought process from birth to death. But we cannot realize our thought that we are thinking now, you know. When you are alone, ask your help. If you want to, to move men like this, if you want to move men, you must use the fairest idea of what God possess, right thinking. If you want to move men like this, you have to think. Can you stand me? The word. The word, the fairest ideas or thought process or thinking, it has the same meaning in this talk. Can you stand me? You know. Before, before we say something to someone, we must think. And then we open, open the mouth and speak out. That's it. What's your name? Where were you born? Where are you from? Before you say something to someone in every life, we must think. We must use the fairest idea of what heart possess. When we use the language for communication in every life, we must think. Can you understand me? The fairest idea of what heart possess it's natural. It's natural. Cannot be controlled. Because it's natural. The flavorous idea of thought process. It's just the symptom associated of the mind. 
The flavorous idea or thought process is such as symptom associated of the mind, but it's not the pure mind. Can you understand me? Where can I find the meaning of the flavorous idea or thought process? No, not at all. It's in your thought, it's in my thought. The suffering, happiness, depression, and anxiety, it's such the flavorous idea or thought process. Can you understand me? Don't be afraid of the flavorous idea or thought process. Because it does not really exist. You know, I show you. you know. As soon as you see this verse, which wrote that, a borrow of water, that's mean. You can read, you can read this word. That's mean. You use the flavorous idea or thought process because you were taught to believe in the meaning of the flavorous idea or thought process because you were taught to believe in the meaning of a border of water. It's mean. In reality, as soon as you see this, as soon as you see it, you can know that. What does it mean? As, as, as soon as you see this, you can know that. You can know. You can know that. What does it mean? Because you use the flavorous idea or thought process. We never use the language say to ourselves, now, I see a bottle of water. Can you understand me? As soon as you see this, you can know that. What does it mean? That's mean you use the flavorous idea or thought process. Can you understand me? Hmm? As soon as you see this, you can read it. You can read it. That means you use the flavorous idea or thought process. Can you tell me? As soon as you see this word, which wrote that, a bottle of water, there will be an image like this in, in your thought. Can you realize as your thought? Hmm? As soon as you see this, this word, you can read it. You can read it within a fraction of a second. You can know that. What does it mean? You can read it. That's mean you use the flavorous idea or thought process. But you cannot realize as your thought. Can you tell me? But you cannot realize as your thought. That we are thinking now. But as soon as you see this, you can know that. What does it mean? As soon as you see this, you can know that. What does it mean? That's mean you use the flavorous idea or thought process. Can you understand me? As soon as you see this, you can know that. What does it mean? Without use of fictional language, say to ourselves, Now, I see a bottle of water. We never use the language say to ourselves, Now, I see a bottle of water. You know, as soon as you see this, you can know that. What does it mean? It mean you use the flavorous idea or thought process. But you cannot realize as your thought that we are thinking now. As soon as you see this, Bah! Bah! 
as soon as you hear this, bah, bah, you can know that. What does it mean? That means you use the first idea or thought process. You can know everything on this earth because we use the first idea or thought process from birth to death. But we cannot realize our thought that we are thinking now. The first idea or thought process is natural. It doesn't belong to anyone on this earth. It's not your, it's not mine. As soon as you see this one, you can know that. What does it mean? That means you use the flavors as the rotor process. As soon as you see this word, you can read it. Because you use the flavors as the rotor process. Can you understand me? As soon as you see this, you can know that. What does it mean? You can know it by nature. Can you tell me? As soon as you see this, you must use the flavors as the rotor process. But you cannot realize as you thought that we are thinking now. Mm -hmm. I show you this. I say this, this, this. As soon as you see this, you can know that. What does it mean? Without use the fictional language, say to ourselves, Now, I see a goat. We never use the language, say to ourselves, Now, I see a goat. Can you understand me? The flavors I still work for process is like this. Mm -hmm. As soon as you see this word, you can read it. You can read it. Because you use the flavors as the word for process. But you cannot realize as your thought that we are thinking now. Mm -hmm. You know, we use the language for communication in every life from birth to death. Until, until it seems that, until it seems that we never we never think anything. Can you tell me? We use the language for communication in every life. We must use the flavorous idea or thought process. Can you understand me? This story is very easy to understand or hardly impossible to understand. Because you have never heard someone say like me before. As I told you, the flavorous idea or thought process is the heart of quenching suffering. The meaning of the flavorous idea or thought process is does not really exist. It's not sure, it's not mine. It's just a thought. Don't be afraid of it. You know, suffering, happiness, depression, and anxiety, it does a thought. It's just the flavorous idea or thought process. You know, before we say something to someone in every life, we must use the flavorous idea or thought process all the time. But we cannot realize at our thought that we are thinking now. Before we say something to someone, we must think. 
understand me? The thinking or the frivolous idea or thought process, it had the same meaning. As I told you, the frivolous idea or thought process is the heart of quenching suffering in Buddhism. Can you understand me? You know. You know. I show you this one. Hmm? As soon as you say this word, we throw that I love you. You can read it because you use the phrase I see or talk process. As soon as you see this verse, you can read it. You can read it because you use the phrase I see or talk process. But the meaning of I love you it's just a thought. Where can I find the meaning of I love you? Hmm? It's invisible. It's just a thought. It's in your thought. It's in my thought. I show you. As soon as you say this word, we wrote, we wrote that. You can read it. You can read it. It means you use the fairest idea or thought process. And, uh, and uh, you can know the meaning of You can know the meaning of it. The first one is, as soon as you say this word, you can read it. Because you use the fairest idea or thought process. Within a fraction of a second. And the second one is, you can know the meaning of this word. The meaning of this word, it's just a thought. It's in your thought. It's in my thought. It cannot be seen. Hmm. As soon as you see this word, the first one is, you can read it. You can read it. It means you use the first idea or thought process. And uh, you can know the meaning of I love you. The meaning of I love you is an abstract. Cannot be seen. Where can I find the meaning of I love you? Hmm? Where can I find the meaning of I love you? Where can I find the meaning of I hate you? You know. The meaning of I love you, the meaning of I hate you. It's just a fictional language. It does not really exist. We were taught to believe in the meaning of I hate you. Mm -hmm. and, and I love you. Because we were taught to believe in the meaning of the fictional language. I show you it's mean written language. If I say I love you, we call spoken language. If I say I love you, it's mean spoken language. And I say I hate you, it's mean spoken language. But I show you, but I show you I love you, it's mean written language. This is it. Mm -hmm. This is written language. Can you understand me? As soon as you see this, you can read it. Because you use the flavorous idea or thought process. And you can know the meaning of it. What does it mean? The meaning of I hate you. It's just a thought. It's just a thought. The meaning of I love you. It's just a thought. Cannot be seen. The meaning of I hate you, I love you, it does not really exist. 
It's not yours, it's not mine. It doesn't belong to anyone on this earth. The true Rama in Buddhism is very easy to understand. The true Rama in Buddhism is, is reasoning only and consider along as I said over and over again until it go deep into your heart. Then you will understand it. And finally, you will have the opportunity to attain your Nadi's life. Mm -hmm. I show you. I show you. One plus one is must be two. It's correct. As soon as you see this, we show that. You can read it. You can read it. Because you use the various ideas or thought process from birth to death. But you cannot realize as your thought that we are thinking now. Can you stand me? Hmm? I show you. One plus one, it must be two, is correct. As soon as, soon as you see this, we throw that. You can read it. Because you use the various idea or thought process. And you, and you can know that. You can know that. The meaning of one plus one is equal to two. It means, where can I find the meaning of one plus one is equal to two? It's just a thought. You know, <clears throat> in reality, I show you it means written language. If I say, I love you, it means spoken language. I hate you, spoken language. What you see now is written language. Hmm? Written language. The meaning of I hate you, I love you, it does not really exist. We can read it because we were taught to believe in the meaning of this word. Can you tell me? As soon as you see this, we wrote that. You can read it within a fraction of a second, and you can know that. The meaning of I love you, what does it mean? Can you understand me? The true Rama, the ultimate wisdom of true Rama in Buddhism is like this, you know. Um, I say, we study the true Rama in Buddhism in order to achieve Nona in this life. Nothing more to study than this. The Buddhism cannot solve life problem because our to self is just not allowed to exist. Please take a look. Please take a look. Mm -hmm. Can you stand me? We studied, we studied the true Rama in Buddhism in order to achieve Rana in this life. Not more to study than this. The Buddhism cannot solve life's problem because our true self is does not really exist. Mm -hmm. Please bear in mind. You know, the ultimate wisdom in Buddhism, we study only the subject of the mind. We did not study about human existence. 
because our true self is not our really exit. You know, the Buddha taught people attain the realm is life. Achieving nirvana is the end of all suffering because there is no cause to be born anymore. The Buddha taught, everything on this earth is soulless, it's not an ego. Everything on this earth is an impermanent because it's deteriorated all the problem. Can you stand me? The flavorous idea will talk process. it. It's not not really exit. The flavorous idea will talk process. it. It doesn't belong to anyone on this earth. It's not your, it's not mine, it's just a thought. Can you stand me? In this talk, I want you to understand about the flavorous idea of work hard process. You know, suffering, happiness, depression, and anxiety is such a flavorous idea of work hard process. The meaning of suffering, the meaning of happiness, the meaning of depression and anxiety is such not really exist. Can you understand me? Mm -hmm. In this talk, if you want to overcome anger or overcome suffering, you must try to understand this story and consider along, as I said, over and over again until it goes deep into your heart. Then you will understand it. And finally, you will have the opportunity to attain your life. Describe. Can you stand me? The fairest idea of the thought process is the heart of quenching of suffering. If anyone can know their own thought, that means you have mindfulness and intuition to end of all suffering, not to more to study than this. Can you stand me? Mm -hmm. You know, we use the flavorous idea or thought process from birth to death, but we can realize our thought that we are thinking now. I have something to show you, you know. Mm -hmm. I have something to show you. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. You know. I have something to show you. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. When you draw. Mm -hmm. When you draw. When you draw, uh -huh. when you draw, you know, you know, in the fictional language we call first, you know, we can draw this picture because we use the flavor idea or thought process. What you see now, it does seem anything. It's not be anything. But we were taught to believe it's mean a fish. We can draw, we can draw this picture. Because we use the flavorous idea or thought process. But we cannot realize our thought that we are thinking now. Can you understand me? What you see now in the fictional language we call fist. But in reality, what you see now, it doesn't mean anything. It's not be anything. You see in the way you see and as you see. But we were taught to believe. What you see now is mean fist. Where can I find the meaning of fist? It's just a thought. Can you understand me? The story in this talk is very easy to understand. But you have never heard someone say like me before. Can you stand me? We can draw this picture because we use the flavorous idea or thought process. We can draw this picture from memory. Can you stand me? The flavorous idea or thought process it doesn't belong to anyone on this earth. It's not your, it's not mine, it's nature. 
The flavorless ideal or thought process is natural. Flavorless ideal or thought process cannot be controlled because it's invisible. Can you stand me? Where can I find the meaning of the flavorless ideal or thought process? Can you stand me? Hmm? The story in this talk is suitable for only people who have remote wisdom and want to attain on this flight. You know, the true Dhamma in Buddhism, the true Dhamma in Buddhism cannot solve life's problem. The true Dhamma in Buddhism cannot solve life's problem because our true self is does not really exist. You know, the true drama in Buddhism cannot solve life's problem because our true self is does not really exist. You know, <coughs> you know. Hmm? I say there are a lot of people who lack wisdom in this world, which want to let it go suffering and live happily forever is impossible because of our true self it does not really exist please take a look at the chart please take a look mm -hmm. mm. please take a look uh -huh. i say There are a lot of people who lack wisdom in this world, which want to let go suffering and live happily forever. Wow! It's impossible because of our true self is does not really exist. Our true self is not really exist. What you see now, it doesn't mean anything. What you see now, it doesn't mean a man. It doesn't mean body. What you see now, in reality of true drama in Buddhism, we call it that something happened to the mind for awareness. What you see now, in reality of true drama in Buddhism, we call it that something happened to the mind for awareness. Can you stand me? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I say. There are, there are many foolish people <laughs> on this planet who believe that this is our true self. I say, there are many foolish people on this planet who believe that this is our true self. Those who will understand this story, those who will understand this story, it must be counted individually that how many people in this world Hmm? Please take a look. Please take a look. Mm -hmm. I say again, there are a lot of people who lack wisdom in this world, which want to let him go of suffering and live happily forever. It's impossible because of our true self is does not really exist. And, uh, and uh, there are many foolish people on this planet who believe that this is our true self. Those who will understand this story, those who will understand this story, it must be current individually that how many people in this world you know, the story in this talk is suitable for only people who have remote wisdom. If you are a little person who wants to attain Nyanadi's flight, if you are a little person who wants to attain Nyanadi's flight, you have to listen to me only. Because I have attained now for 17 years old. I'm ready to help everyone on the shirt attain Nyanadi's flight as well. I'm ready, aha, but are you ready? It's up to you. The conclusion in this talk is, I want you to understand about 
the fearless ideas were thought process. Don't be afraid of the fearless ideas were thought process because it does not really exist. The suffering, the happiness, depression, depression and anxiety, it's just a thought. It's just a thought. It doesn't mean anything, it must be anything, but we lack wisdom. We believe it's true. Can you stand me? Suffering, happiness, depression, and anxiety. It's just the free rest I still wrote for present. It's not, it's, it's not your, it's just mine. Can you stand me? Mm -hmm. In this talk, I want you to understand about the fairest ideal or thought process because it's the heart of quenching of false suffering. If anyone can know their own thoughts, that means you find a way to end of false suffering, not be more too subtle than this. Please bear in mind, 